I'm Linda Sparks and I'm here in the Farthingale studio. Today I'd like to demonstrate how to apply bone tips to corset bones using three different methods. First of all, I'm going to show you uh, some common bones and how to cut them. These are spirals. So we have a wide spiral and a narrow spiral. And these are spring steels, a narrow one and a wide one. A lot of people complain about how difficult it is to cut boning, but I think sometimes they're not using the right tool or the right technique. When cutting spirals, you need bolt cutters. And you'll notice with the bolt cutters, the jaws close in a parallel manner, not like a pair of scissors. So we have the spiral bone, and I could use the smaller bone, it doesn't matter, you cut them both the same way. And I take the bolt cutters, and I'm only cutting one wire. And then I flip it over and I cut the other wire and it falls apart. If I tried to cut across the top and cut all the wires, it would be really difficult because the wire tends to be soft and it crushes rather than snipping. The other thing, by cutting one wire and another wire, you're left with this nice curve at the top and the tip fits over really nicely. So that's how you tip spiral bones, and it doesn't matter whether it's a small spiral or a large spiral. Now I'm going to go on to spring steel. And spring steel is white, it's flexible, but it is fairly stiff, fairly strong. And to cut this, you need tin snips. And the tin, tin snips usually have a yellow handle, they can have longer jaws than this. These are fairly short. But what's important is that there's some serration on the jaws. And not all tin snips have serrated jaws. The serration is really difficult to see because it's very fine, but it's very important. These close much like scissors. Without the serration, the bone wants to slide out of the jaws as you're closing it. So the serration helps to grip the bone when you're cutting it. I have my bone in the jaws of the tin snips. I leverage the lower jaw on the table and I cut. Now, you may not need to use the table as leverage, but I find it's helpful. And these are goggles. These are safety goggles and I really should have been wearing them as I cut this. If you're working in a space with other people, those around you should also be wearing the goggles just because the pieces fly and you never know where they're going to end up. So we've cut the bones and now we're ready to tip them. Mm -hmm.